It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tri war began. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says everyone wants to see the Sifu. You're in luck, though, as his schedule just opened up. Zata is the moy tot loho. Karies ne statse. Paro, ya put The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. 
The news of a cold-blooded Ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. The wall that separates them from the other side, the wasteland you came from. He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves, but he's glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense your kind hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it was based on unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says there is some darkness in the best of us, even you, and suggests you embrace that side of you and help them vanquish the tribes and let the world eaters destroy the tree of life. He had a feeling you'd say that. You're not sinister enough to be a Jagni. That big heart of yours makes you weak. He'll give you a chance to change your mind before you leave and asks you to reconsider. Otherwise, you'll be seen as a rival. Then so be it. He wants you to know that they'll show no mercy at the end of this war and offers you a last chance to come back and join when you realize you've picked the wrong side. And with that, he urges you to seek protection at Myriad Stone Fort before word gets out that you've chosen not to side with them. It was built on the back of many, including us, and claimed by Myriad when the construction was abandoned after the attack on the old village. It was your Muma's vision for a new home for us all. It's time to say goodbye for now, and if it's not the kind of goodbye that lasts forever, then the next will mean the end for you. Down is easy, up is the hard bit.
Let's see. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Let's see. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Figures the Sifu would be interested in seeing you. Sibi? La panen a ginkan man. Gerat na falo hutut. Mustugai la wute. Karaf la wute. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. 
The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. The Jagni tribe may believe that fear and hatred will lead them to domination. A vanquisition of the tribes and destruction of the Tree of Life won't be the restart they want. It's just an end to everything. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. Hello? You need to take the struggle to the enemy, or the enemy will bring it to you. When survival is threatened, there's no other option left but war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. They passed the point of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. He can't blame you for not remembering, but he can sense the stillness of something lost. You have things to do, places to go to. Says you should take it easy.
Doesn't believe you're such a fool. Hopes to see you again soon. Shine's happy that the Myriad can count on a friend as bright as you. Says talking to you was interesting. Let's see. Let's see. Thank <laughs> you. 